Hi there, my name is Oliver Knapp and I'm a sales engineer here at Summerford. Today, we are going to talk about the resources used in Lacework and how the state-of-the-art Lacework polygraph can be used to gain further insight into said resources. Summerford is a premier partner with Lacework, having worked with them delivering their state-of-the-art cybersecurity solution to a host of satisfied customers. As such, we have specialist knowledge and experience when it comes to provisioning, maintaining, and also gaining value from the Lacework platform. Our services to this end include the setting up and delivery of Lacework's bespoke proof of value provided free of charge by Summerford, the adoption of full deployments of the Lacework platform and support for any needs you may have with Lacework. In this video, we'll explore how through its bespoke systems, Lacework offers a place to consolidate your cloud resources and gain an overview of all your systems, eliminating dreaded tool sprawl and using tools such as the Lacework Polygraph to gain a competent and cohesive overview of your entire cloud estate and its ever so important security. So let's explore in more detail the idea of monitoring a vast estate of cloud resources and the importance of visibility. In a world where seemingly all things cyber are moving into the cloud, especially when looking at business resources, it can seem to be quite the daunting task to gain a complete overview of everything you have. This becomes even more important when you have the need to secure these resources and tool sprawl, that is, deploying many different cybersecurity and cloud tools becomes a huge issue. As such, having a method of collating and viewing all of these resources from a centralized place becomes paramount to your business, and that is exactly what Lacework does. Through deploying Lacework's multitude of scanning methods into your cloud estate, or estates, as Lacework does support a multi-cloud setup, you're able to collate a central database of your information. Then you can use Lacework tools, such as the aforementioned polygraph, to analyze and gain insight to your heart's content. This technology, as well as more of the theory, will be discussed more in the coming slides. So before we move into a demo of the Lacework platform, I'd just like to go over the main points of interest within the resource collation section of Lacework, as seen as the on the list on the screen. The first point to consider is this idea of cloud consolidation. This is more of a concept than a feature within Lacework, as in essence, it makes up the very foundation of the platform. This is due to the fact that as your cloud estate matures, you'll find yourself having more and more sources of data and information. In the event of a multi-cloud setup, this would be even more apparent. And as such, the option to have all this information consolidated within one central location becomes incredibly appealing. Within the Lacework platform, this materializes under one tab, having access to your resources in your containers, hosts, and cloud activity logs, such as CloudTrail or GCP Audit, and even Kubernetes all of which can be searched and reported on ad hoc. The aforementioned issue of tool sprawl is also solved through the Lacework platform, as no longer will you need to set up searching and reporting on all of your different forms and sources of data in your environment. It's all readily available through the Lacework UI and the deployment of the Lacework agents. A valuable tool you have, as we've previously mentioned, is the Lacework Polygraph. It's a highly advanced reporting tool which analyzes your data, its connections and communications and the context it is in and presents any findings to you in an easy to understand and visually appealing graphical format. This tool allows you to monitor your cloud infrastructure in a way which is unmatched by other tools. You can see security gaps and changes that could put your company at risk. So now that we have covered the main points, let's explore and put some context to them through a demonstration of the resources tab alongside the dashboards and reports it presents. We'll also look at the Lacework Polygraph tool. When you first go into Lacework, you'll be greeted by the Lacework dashboard. This gives an overview of your entire Lacework deployment, including interesting information and a nice visual representation of trends and the main parts of Lacework. You may notice that the appearance of the environment is slightly different to some of the other videos we've made on Lacework. Do not worry though, that is just due to the time of recording be a little bit later on than the previous videos, and as such, a UI update has come out from Lacework. Lacework are constantly striving to provide the best user experience, and as such, will regularly release updates to every aspect of that platform in a constant attempt to improve this user experience. From this dashboard, we can go on the left to the exploring and the, the navigation bar, and we can click on Resource Explorer. Here, we are immediately greeted by a dashboard which gives an overview of all of the resources you have integrated, as well as a brief overview of the main usages with them. If you've watched any of our previous Lacework content, you may notice the consistent theming and layout of the Lacework interface across its many facets. 
This is a boon in my opinion, which makes Lacework incredibly user friendly and a tool which is easy to pick up and immediately draw value from, especially if you're using Lacework for many different use cases as the consistent theming and the consistent layout of everything means that no matter what the use case, you kind of understand what you're doing, even if it's new to you. As I said, the UI you're greeted with will look quite similar to this. Of course, the data inside this environment is all demo data, but the general idea is that this will look quite similar to your environment. Using the filters along the top of the screen, if I click show more, these are all the filters available to us, as well as searching filters. You can look at specific parts of your resources. For instance, if I wanted to look at resource performance over the last week, I'd filter time to the latest week and use the panels. The filter I'm going to apply here, you can also filter, it is showcasing that you can also filter on which in cloud environment you wish to be viewing. This is very important if you have, as we've mentioned before, a multi-cloud setup. This final option here lets you decide this. I'm going to filter for just my AWS accounts. When I click show results, now the only thing that I reported on is my AWS accounts. Also, it's already set to a week, but you can change the time range to whatever you see fit. The two, bit, the two ones that it's recommending here are latest week and latest month, but there is also a way to set a custom time range as we can see here. The purpose of showing this is that it demonstrates how you can change and manipulate what you're seeing on the fly, making any information you wish to, e wish to view easy to obtain and digest. This is further exemplified by the Create View button in the top right. This lets you save a custom view, which you have set up with these filters, as its own dashboard. For instance, if I wanted to show a dashboard which only had my internet exposure within my AWS environment, I would filter for just AWS, as I've already done, and then under Internet Exposure, I would click Yes and click Show Results. Here, my custom filters are set. I would click Create View, and it would give me the option to set this as the default view, so the view that you always see when you go onto your Resource Explorer, give it a name. I'll give it AWS Internet Exposure. Add a description for anyone who may be viewing it, and also the permissions on it. Private, meaning only you can view it, and organization, which means anyone who has registered onto your Lacework deployment within the organization and is part of your organization can view it. I'll leave it as private for now. Now this is saved as a view, you can click in the top right and then edit which views. The Lacework default view is the one we've just seen. We're now on the AWS Internet Exposure view. This holds even more value when you consider the use of a SOC, where each individual may need their own view of a segment of a cloud environment. Using this feature, everyone can monitor their own work and therefore operate more efficiently in their own bespoke areas and specific areas. Clicking into a resource, As such, we can look more in depth at the information which is available for it. As we can see here, we get an initial overview of its vulnerabilities, its attack paths, which relate to it, and any relative compliance findings and alerts. The panels in the resource summary will change depending on what has been found within the resource. For the most part, vulnerabilities, compliance, and attack paths will always be there. But if there's no alerts on the environment, then there won't be an alerts panel, and so on and so forth. Each of these panels can then be further dived into to explore the data that makes them up, such as the related vulnerabilities. If I click this little arrow here, it will bring up a side tab. Again, this is congruent with the rest of the Lacework UI, as anything you open up from a dashboard will usually open up in a side tab, which can then easily be closed so you can continue browsing at what you were looking at before. As we dive into this panel, we can all see all of the CVEs, common vulnerabilities and exposures, which are applicable to this resource. Moving on, the Agents tab on the left shows you all of the Lacework agents you have deployed in your environment. As we can see here, we'll be focusing on the Vote App Worker agent today. If I click into it, we can also see, if I scroll down, there is a polygraph available for this agent. And this is the same for any agent that you have deployed within the Lacework platform.
The, the base dashboard for the agents tab also gives you useful information on where you do and don't have agents deployed. As we, if we scroll down, you can see there are some AWS instances with no Lacework agents, so you're not getting full value from the Lacework platform as the information and communication is not fully feeding into Lacework from these areas. It also tells you where there's agent upgrades that may need to be put through uh, alongside a lot more information on just the overall deployment of your agents. So with all that wrapped up, this brings us nicely onto the Lacework Polygraph. For this demonstration, I'll be using AWS Cloud Logs Polygraph. If I go into the search bar on the left and click AWS Cloud Trail, it will bring up the Cloud Trail dossier. This is an overview of all of my Cloud Trail data. If I scroll down, I can see the Lacework Cloud Trail polygraph. It's important to note that any resource within your Lacework deployment which does not operate independently will also have its own polygraph associated with it but I'm just using the AWS CloudTrail one as an example, as it's quite an in-depth polygraph, and as such, I can show you how we may draw value from one of a large size. Now, I understand the initial polygraph can look quite intimidating. However, this is only the complete overview. For instance, from this whole polygraph, we can go into all of the instances which has users been added to a group by clicking on this action, add user to group. This will then highlight the actions which immediately relate to this. Now, if I go back to our agents, and go, into vote, go back into Vote App Worker, we can look at the polygraph for Vote App Worker. Here, we can see that over the last week, there has been 137 known IP addresses, which are bad, connected to the machine. Diving into this, by following the link given under known bad external IPs, and then going down to the polygraph unknown bad external IPs, we can see all of the actions taken by, the, by these IPs, including the applications they accessed, such as the system application, the data accounts ticket, and so much more, including EXEs. We might be a little bit worried about the fact that these known bad external IPs are accessing .exe files. So then we can click on this, and then we can then see where these EXEs have applied to IP addresses. So which IPs have been using have these .exe files applied to them. We can also see that it's also applied to a DNS server, the Windows Update server. This could tell us that there's something a little bit fishy going on within our environment. This would let us conduct our own investigation into the threats and issues within our environment. This concludes the demo portion of this video. So to wrap up what we have covered today, Lacework offers a solution to the confusion brought about by an ever-growing portfolio of cloud infrastructure and security tools, including ways to manage and keep track of your data. Lacework also offers bespoke tools allowing you to gain an incredibly high level of visibility into your cloud infrastructure through features such as the Lacework polygraph showing both connections and attack vectors. Through the demonstration of the Lacework UI, we have explored how through a consistent and easy to use layout, the aforementioned points can be capitalized on in a quick and effective manner. Through this time we have spent, I do hope you have learned a little something about cloud estate visibility and how Lacework aims to facilitate it, saving you both time and money. If you have any questions or want to learn more about Lacework, then please get in touch with us at info at summerfordassociates.com and check out our other videos on the features of Lacework. Thank you for watching and goodbye.